Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Dad, and welcome back to Fallout 76, where I'm Batman. Okay, I'm not Batman, but I'm Batman in this universe, okay? There's Wayne Manor, I found the Batcave, and basically, as far as I'm concerned, the fact that, you know, before I'm even level 15, I found the Batcave and became Batman, that's just the greatest thing in the world ever. Also, why are the lights... Why are some of the lights on, and some of the lights... Off. Are you drawing power from from somewhere else? Or is it because the camp spawned further up? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, today, obviously, we're continuing with the Batman business, yes. And here we go. It looks like, actually, we're pretty close by to where we want to... Is someone else here, or did I just decide to reload my own pistol for... No one else is here. I just decided to reload my own pistol in a way to creep myself out. Absolutely marvellous. Right, right down over here then, so I'd say, no, no, don't stop tracking that, just give me, give me a nice custom destination to lead me south. And then again, can't help but notice, we got ourselves a few things that, okay, you know what, we'll just, we'll take a slight, slight diversion. Here we go, there's some form of wooden structure in this direction, not sure quite what it is, and ooh, archaeological dig site beyond it. Okay, maybe I'm not going to be the best Batman, because I'm going to be honest, I am fairly easily distracted for Batman. Like, Batman shouldn't be as easily distracted as I am, but still, what is this? Am I just coming to look at a billboard? I really hope there's something better here than just a billboard. Oh, there's definitely something better here than just a billboard. Widow's Perch. Someone converted a billboard into a, a settlement. Alright, but who lives here? Okay, just looks like a couple of creatures. Alright, should be able to... Oh! Oh, hello! Right, well, let's just quickly get a couple of shots in on the little ones. And by the way, I need... Yeah, I could do with actually some, some throwables. Right, I should have just tossed a flipping grenade in, really, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, that's right, you guys can teleport! Yeah, sorry, forgot about that actually. Where is the mother? Okay. Discover. Apparently I'm technically in the ash heap right now. You know what? I need to get off the, the ground. If I get up onto here, they can't teleport to me anymore. Right. Now. Where's you? Go. 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 Right. For a diseased mole rat brood mother, that was not as bad as I feared it might be. There you go. And I got you dead. Now. What's so special about you? Well, you're diseased and you reek, but you didn't get a bite in, so thankfully I'm fine. Double- Oh, So, did you just burrow after you were dead? Because I feel like that's cheating, actually. And you also had two springs on you, which is nice. Right, so, Widow's Perch. Once upon a time, well, someone lived here. Workers Against Automation. I will take that protest sign for some reason. Yes! Oh my goodness, that's actually a usable weapon. That's actually genuinely a usable flippin' weapon. I can whack people with a protest sign. Okay, well I'm keeping that just because occasionally I want to wander around town in my awesome dress holding a protest sign, whacking people with it. And oh, light metal torso plans. Oh, that's perfect. Light metal torso, that's not bad at all. Right, hang on. Hang the flip on here. I might want to go straight over to that. Ah, but... I think I've actually already got a, a light metal torso, if I recall correctly. Yeah, the metal chest piece is exactly what I've already got, so I don't need to worry about that. Fine. This is a cool base, though. I like this. Oh, is this another protest sign? No. No, that's... Oh, but that. Pack of duct tape. Everybody loves a pack of duct tape. Yeah, this is kind of a cool base built into a cliff. Now, the question is... Jump! I missed! Ouch, my legs! There we go. Made it second time. Got myself a, ooh, recoil compensated pipe bolt action rifle. That's probably not terrible. And US government supply drop. Nice. Very, very welcome indeed. Except apparently to fix a relay tower terminal before I can use that. Okay. Interesting. And jump. Lovely. Now, was there actually a, a weapon workbench up there? I'd like to have a little look see at this thing if I can. Uh, no. No, there's not. But that's fine. Does this use the 308? Because if it uses the 308, I'm almost certainly not interested. 
Yes, that does use 308. Uh, damage is... Actually, damage is 50. That's... That's the same as this, weirdly, except fire rate is actually fire rates exactly the same as well. I can just go over to this and then just compare them side by side. Yeah, it's just the range is way up, accuracy's up, value's up, but the weight is... Actually, the weight here is 4.8. Like, I'm almost tempted to say, screw it, go over to this purely to save the weight. Yeah, I'm going to keep this for the time being. I'll hold on to this because, yeah, there might actually be... Okay, I'm also using it right now. Oh, I don't like the scope, though. And I also just don't like the general sensation that I'm trying to, you know, aim a plank of wood. Oh, my flipping goodness. My work is united against automation, son. <laughs> that's so cool. That is... That's just amazing. I'm just going to keep this just so I can wander through town holding it just to confuse people who haven't found it yet. Also, I haven't actually tried firing the flare gun yet. I assume it, you know, can work as a flare to signal to other people, hey, I'm here, right? And the answer is... Yes! Yes, it actually can, because, you know, it's a flare gun, so that does make sense. Right, plenty of 10mm ammo for the time being. Let's wander on our way, but yeah, we are into the ash heap now. Just visiting, just, you know, passing through... Now, I'm wondering if this is going to be one of the purification sites. I saw one of these elsewhere, but it would make sense there might be more than one. It looks like a similar sort of bunker. And this is Caution Falling Rocks. All right. Be a bit cautious of that. Sure. Uh, bunker. Yeah. Air Purifier Site 2. So I know where the first one is. That's uh, way further over in that direction somewhere. If you're heading in kind of straight from Charleston, it's right outside Charleston itself. All right. Anything? Nothing much. Fine. So, may as well just loot the place in that case. Ooh, shotgun shells. I'll gladly help myself to them. And I'm close as well. Well, it looks like, yeah, around the back of a building. So, okay. Follow the road up to, yeah, the air purification site itself. This place is a little bit creepy when it's dark, to be honest. And if I just head up the hill here... It looks like I should reach some form of settlement, but I'm getting deeper and deeper into the ash pile and, yeah, concerned about my lack of a gas mask. Hopefully, not going to be a problem. Oh, gunfire. And no one else is anywhere around here. Closest person is way over in that direction. Chance of me hearing their gunfire seems low. Okay, be ready. It's probably Scorch fighting something that's not Scorch, because the Scorch fight pretty much anything that moves. And we're very close by some clouds here. All right. Move it in. Nice and slow. Railway station. No sign of movement yet. In fact, almost it's weirdly quiet. Because here's the thing. Something killed the Order of Mysteries. And... Right. Super Mutant Skirmisher. Alright, I see the problem here. In fact, I also see the problem that I don't actually have, yeah, this thing uh, set yet. I could do with my actual tactical armor-piercing hunting rifle. Okay, that sounds like a fair warning that I'm heading into choking territory. Yes. And, excuse me, are we going to be able to get a... Alright, that wasn't that good, to be honest. Bit on the tough side, these lads, as it turns out. That's better mind, and oh dear, no, 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 run, 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 run. Right, go over to the shotgun, go over to the shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. Oh dear, this is, this is not good. Right, let's just, what the heck is a fighter? That's a new class I've not seen before. Right, probably should have reloaded my shotgun before we actually started this mission. Yes. Oh, this is... This is not good. Right, finish one of you off at least. And then drop down a cliff. And that... That works surprisingly well. They're not interested in dropping down the cliff either. Right, okay. How are we going to deal with all of... Oh, blimey heck. Hello. Right. One, two... Right, you're dead. And you have got Molotov cocktails. Right, we might need to go over to explosives to deal with you bastards. Also, I'm hearing whirring. I'm hearing distinct sounds of whirring. That sounds like... Well, it sounds like a vertebird. Yeah, that's a vertebird. 
That's totally vertebrae that just flew away. But... But hang the hell on. Who? Who is flying that thing? Right, time to use some Molotovs. I think we got one coming around the corner right here. Where are you? There you go. There you go. You can have yourself a bit of that. You can have yourself some shot gun. Oh, these guys are not insignificant, actually. I need to get the hell out of here. Reload. Thankfully, I've got plenty of stim packs for the time being, but there's just more of them around the corner. This is no good at all. Go. Go. Okay, next. One, two, three. Leveled up, which is nice, but they've got reinforcements and friends coming in. Oh, this is... How the heck? Okay, I may be slightly underleveled or underfriended at this moment in time. You know what? I'm going over to the pickaxe. If we need to close ranks with them anyway, I may as well flip and try and go in. Oh, that's... That's working surprisingly well. Yeah, actually. That's working. That's actually working way better than it has any right to. And if we can just keep the health going on, take you down with the axe. There we go. And actually, you know what? The bleed damage is working too. Get a stim pack in there. I've got first aid, so it's not so bad. You are a boss. A level 28 boss. And I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you right now with an axe. Oh, no. Oh, flippin' no. Though, actually, it, it's going all right. They're throwing, uh, they're going for the Molotov throws. Okay, let's just get some... Oh, this is never going to flip a fly, is it? Uh, actually, it weirdly is. I do have decent quality armor. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. No. You're... Oh, God, no. Right, back off, back off. I've got a better plan, actually. Uh, and the plan is mines. 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 They want to follow me? They can walk straight into some mines, actually. So we'll just put some mines down. That'll do. Right. How about some more mines right there? Beautiful. There you go. Have fun walking into them. Yep, that was definitely a mine that just exploded. Now, let them take a bit more damage. Must have been nothing. Must have been nothing. Right, there we go. Thought that vehicle might actually explode given a moment. Almost dead. And you, I think actually... We can take you out one-on-one. -on -one. You seem to be resistant to bleed damage, mind. But, I tell you what, you're almost done. Put another stim pack on me. Dear, oh flipping dear. Grab everything you've got on you. Broadsider and missile launcher. Interesting. Oh, I'm now over encumbered, which is not what I need right now. Right, you are... Ooh, you're wearing a fancy hat. I like your hat. Oh, it's a wheelbarrow. That's good. Right, broadsider. Locked to level 35 with a weight of 16. Yeah, I think we can do without that, unfortunately. How about that missile launcher? Locked to level 20. Leave it behind. I need a bit more weight cleared out, please. Okay. Bear in mind, my melee appears to be much stronger than anything else I can do. You, my good man. I'm ready for a critical. Yeah, let's go for this. There we go. Headshot critical. Guaranteed hit by the looks of it. Even though it doesn't actually say it, it still shows a percentage. Seems to actually work out pretty nicely, all things considered. So you now. One, two, three. Job done. And that is actually worth a fair whack of XP a go. So I've probably just made a good amount of XP right there. Now, what else have we got going on here? Because I wouldn't mind... Nope, that's just a petrified corpse. It's fine, don't panic. I wouldn't mind being up on the roof. Just while I approach what appears to be the town square in front of a major government building. Ooh, this is nice. There's a little, little rose garden on top here. That's cool. Ooh, plasma grenade. la di da We can get up here. Have a little look-see. What else is going on? That works. That works too. Oh, yeah. That works very nicely. I mean, I am Batman, so me just basically heading up onto... Oh, I wonder if that's intentional. Like, this is literally the first mission you get given as Batman, and basically the first thing you're told to do is, hey, go up onto the rooftops and pick off a bunch of idiot thugs. I wonder if that is intentional. That'd be kind of wonderful if so. Can't help but notice there's, yeah, a couple of them down there. If they wouldn't mind just standing close together, as those guys are, I do have that very first plasma grenade. Yeah, 
I think that'll do the job quite nicely, actually. Beautiful. Are we good now? Bloody hell, right. It's just like the Capitol building again. There are a lot of them. An awful lot of them. And they are going to regen pretty quickly. I should get in and get out. Is that a... No. It's nothing. Right. Somewhere around here. Now, I'm in the right area. And now I need to find my target. And I do not, I believe, have a quest marker. I just know she's somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, Natasha. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Right. Take your login, obviously. And what happened to you? Good morning. I'm sorry to drop this on you. Tiana hasn't reported in from her last mission. Olivia and I are heading out to investigate. I have a lead on a raider scouting party. I need you to follow up on it. Standard protocol. Secure the location, look for signs of raider activity, and report back to the manor. Be careful, dear. I can't bear to lose anyone else. Time to get out of here. I think we've done enough fighting versus these guys, to be honest. And when I say let's get gone, maybe let's not, because there might be something more to do here first. Yeah, search for raiders in Lewisburg. Now, there's not going to be raiders in Lewisburg because, you know, everyone in Lewisburg is dead with the exception of these here super mutants. But, if you want me to search, I will search, but I'm doing it on the rooftops, of course. Now, how do I cross the street? I need to get up there. Alright, I need to find a way across. Don't see anything obvious. All I need to do is find an open... An open shop, or... That looks good. Right, drop down over here. Hopefully I can stand on this. That is... Not that good, actually. No, not that good at all. And I've gone into caution. Right, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Here we go. Open shop right here. Maybe we just... Okay, maybe we just actually... Yeah, run straight past, actually, because even if we're going to fight this guy, I'd rather do it in, uh, yeah, shotgun territory. Hello. How would you like to just stand right there? Okay, there you go. You're not doing so hot on this occasion. Straight in the head. Straight in the head. No, keep reloading. Reload. 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 Shotgun. Shotgun. And Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all, actually. Right, go over to Axe. And that really staggers him. Still in danger, mind. We're not out of the woods yet. And I really needed my shotgun to not be broken right now. That's no good at all. Need to find a way up to the roof, though. I kind of came in here. Ooh, charisma bobblehead. That's completely useless. I need to find a way up to the roof. And then I need to get the hell out of here. Unless, of course, okay, this is, uh, this'll do. This'll flip and do. This looks like a back street that'll lead me up to the roof. Okay, we do this and we go, okay? This is clearly, for a solo player who hasn't invested in Lone Wanderer at all, a bit much. All right, just a little bit much. And I need to get up more. Okay, if I look around this way, it should be fine. Right, now... Evidence, apparently, is up here. Kerry's orders. All right. Kerry, got some new intel. One of the girls would be out your way on Thursday. Got word to char and his boys in Big Bend. We're going to need backup. Stake out Lewisburg, set up an ambush, find a good sniper nest. Don't underestimate her. Right. They took out Robin. Oh, no. They took out one of the Robins. Oh, Batman must have been very annoyed about that. And... Easy pickings. All right, we've been eyeing Lewisburg for a while now. It's actually impressive they stayed organised this long. We found the weak spot. Those stupid sky gardens, they pretend clean the air. They've got bridges connecting the gardens across most of the rooftops. If we get up there, it's easy pickings on everyone below. Here's the plan. Saturday's the Spring Garden Festival. I'm sure we all remember them from before the bombs. They all pile into downtown and pretend to be auntie or listening to shitty music. Absolutely no one will be expecting a raid. We go through the visitor centre to the rooftops, set up around the festival, and like I say... Wow. Kind of a dick thing to do there, guys. So we now know what happened. And thankfully, there is a bat computer who I can just report into. 
So that's good. Anything else I want to try and do? Honestly, I think I should just go. This would have been a lot easier, of course, you know, with four times more firepower or what have you. With this much firepower, not so much. But I'm very glad I just found a steamer trunk with double flipping plasma and suppressed tune sniper rifle. That's probably a level 20 tie, if I had to guess. Hang on. Yeah, 61 damage, level 20. What was the other one I just found? 68. Yeah, I need to figure out how to take and remove mods. Because I don't see quite how to do it. It's certainly not as obvious as it uh, was back in the days of Fallout 4. So I need to do some investigation into that. Okay. So these guys, yeah. Tried to just live a normal life. Keep going with their old traditions and rituals. And uh, some raiders basically took advantage of that. Killed them. Well, that's a shame. All right, just quickly nip back into John Penny Tower here because, of course, I've got myself things to drop off. In particular, I've now got myself a couple of weapons I don't need yet, but I might need down the line. And speaking of which, I need to figure out whether I want to keep using this thing because this thing's not exactly great. You know what? No, I'm happy with it. I've got plenty of spare weight capacity for the time being. I'm okay with what I've got. Also, I need to remember to use tomahawks and throwing knives. Because 175. That's that's not nothing. That's decent. And I'm going to store my protest sign. I don't need to carry it around with me all the time. I'm just going to get that back out on special occasions. And of course, my shotgun needs to be got back up to working condition. In fact, everything needs a little bit of TLC. Hopefully I've got enough materials for all of that. Yeah, fine. Beautiful. Now, one big question before I just run inside the house here. The actual secret elevators. Can I use them to nip back into the bat cave? Because if I could, that would be very convenient. Go away! Right, just get into the flipping thing. Yeah, there we go. If you know that's the elevator, it does work as an elevator. Beautiful. Welcome home, initiate. Oh, I like that the bat computer even welcomes me home. That's lovely. So, Kryptos. So, I need to log in as Natasha Hunt in order to submit my tape, right? So, administrative actions and authorize... Ooh, register as a mentor. Ah, yes, I need to register as a mentor so I can authorize myself. I'm just basically posing as Natasha to authorize my own promotion. And I would like to promote unknown user to a novice. There we go. So, please ask the selected user to log in and claim their promotion. And in addition, also authorize access the headmistress's office to that unknown user. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Only be granted by headmistress, technical specialist, mistress of novices, Eve, or mistress Olivia Rivers. Fine. So I can't get into the headmistress's office yet. Okay. Log out in that case. Uh, yeah, yeah, log out as Natasha. Log in as unknown user. There we go. I am now a novice rank. Beautiful. So I need to listen to the message. So, got myself a new holotape, but also two waters and some ammo. Okay, little bit underwhelming, but I do rather like that little icon as well. I want to get that full dress. Right now, my dress is looking a bit scruffy. All right, I actually need some proper dresses that look a bit better than that. And, ooh. Speak of the flipping devil. Claim the garb of mysteries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I will, you know. That actually comes with... Oh. No, it is actually tied to level 25. Oh, that's sad. Boo. Boo, I say. And also, it's... Does that actually... Hang on. Hang the flip on here. Oh, that's actually a proper traditional Fallout 4 suit of armor. So that does actually replace all of your body parts, which is not good, actually. If it replaces my chest piece, then... Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Still, it'll be nice to have just as, you know, a thing to wear around town to show off to people who aren't Batman. Here we go. New tape. Rank. Novice. What have we got to say here? Congratulations, dear. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. But I'm sure the other girls can walk you through your vows. Things have been difficult for us of late. In eight years, we only lost one member of our family. In the past three months, we've lost seven. All to raider ambushes. I've asked Eve to accelerate our training program. 
If the worst should happen, we need everyone to be ready. In order to become a full member of the Order, you will need to master the tools of the Mistress of Mystery. Sword, shot, and shadow. Work with Eve and your mentor. When the time comes to prove yourself, Kryptos has the details. Alright, so just like at the army base, I've got myself a few things to make. Including the Phantom Device, the Blade of Bastet, and the Voice of Set. Okay, this does seem pretty damn badass, and also there are Scorched around here somewhere, which is concerning. Okay, master the tools of the Mistress of Mystery. Here we go, so now inside the mission board, I can select these things, so... Okay, I'm a bit of a melee user. Let's see what the Blade of Bastet is exactly. So please review mission briefing for your instructions. In combat, the Mistress of Mystery relied upon her speed, agility, and training in the martial arts, including the Art of the Sword. For many years, her favored weapon was the Blade of Bastet, a legendary sword passed down from hero to hero across the ages. The time has come for you to earn your own blade. First, you'll need to locate a sword with historic significance. That symbolism matters. You'll treat it with respect. Cryptos should have some leads. Then you'll need to pick up one of Frederick's swing analyzers and attach it to your sword. The analyzer will collect data on your stance and swing as you wield it against different foes. Once the analyzer has finished its work, Frederick should be able to hone your sword into a blade worthy of the Mistress of Mystery. I really hope this is a two-handed sword, by the way, because I do like the two-handed swords. Definitely. Okay, so, uh, Kryptos, I need to ask about historic swords, please. So, okay, map updated. The White Spring- Oh, White Springs! We're going to flipping Greenbriars, apparently. So acquire the sword, complete the swing analyzer process, return it to the production facility for processing. Okay, so a historic sword found in the White Spring Presidential. You know, the weird thing is I think I know where the White Spring Presidential Cottage is because the Greenbrier's Presidential Cottage is a thing I walked past when I was in West Virginia, which is ridiculous, but here we are. Anyway, may as well save myself one trip by getting the analyzer back now. So, yes, I will actually take the swing analyzer. Thank you. Let's go to Greenbrise, which is actually a very appropriate place for me to go to get, you know, a sort of some significance, because it's the first place I ever played Fallout 76, so it actually is a place of some significance for me, which is kind of cool. Also, to not forget, Infirmary Terminal, with her login, I can actually get in over here. Right, save control, crack that open, beautiful. More importantly, what else have we got around here? Antibiotic restrictions, reserve antibiotics as a last line treatment. The dysentery epidemic exhausted our stock of antibiotics. There's another supply run to AVR Medical up on the mission board, but that place has been picked clean over the years. I asked the headmistress if we could reach out to the responders for help. You can guess how that went. Ah, AVR Medical. I'll need to go there for a main plot thing for the inoculation project at some point or other. So that's of interest. Stimpaks and dehydration were not mentioned in the medical literature. Dehydration appears to be a serious side effect of repeated Stimpak use. Patients receiving Stimpaks as part of their treatment regimen should be monitored. Ah, okay. That was a thing in Fallout 4 Survival. I assume it's a thing here, even though it doesn't specifically say it as far as I'm aware. Okay. Worth noting. And uh, the chem lockup. Lock them up in the infirmary safe at all times. Screw you. You're not the boss of me. The safe is mine now. And we've also got ourselves an infirmary log. There's an audio tape that I've just managed to download and medical records as well they've all expired can't access them okay so the save gets me one mentats bit underwhelming here we go infirmary log shove that in this is the infirmary log for tuesday september 17th mistress natasha hunt reporting we have two active cases alexis is in critical condition following the accident in the hall of trials today i've done my best to stabilize her I'm no surgeon. She's lost a lot of blood. If she goes into shock, there's not much we can do. <sighs> Laura is still recovering from bone worms. Her blood work is clean, but I recommended light duty for the next two weeks. 
There was one minor incident today. Olivia commandeered an entire bag of stim packs and took off without a word. I put in a complaint, but headmistress's daughter and all, she never changes. Okay, Olivia just took a whole bag of stim packs somewhere. Why? What was she doing? Let's head over to Greenbriars. I've been kind of, you know, meaning to go back there anyway, to be honest. So, uh, why the heck not? Get out my pickaxe of significance and let's see what we got over there. Oh, that's just a shot I took after the end of the last part, by the way, because I am the most badass badass that ever lived. Now, haven't been to Greenbriars on foot myself. I just teleported there last time. It is over here. Okay. Not too far from where I am, to be honest. In fact, if I were to... Ooh. Relay tower and the... the Oh! Hello! Yes? Who's shooting me right now? Please stop it. That's very rude. Also, I think I've got a level up to do. Yes! Yes, I do! So, as I'm about to become Batman with a sword, let's just have a look to see what strength's got to say for itself. And what, if anything, is new. So we've got ourselves, you hear directional audio in range of a magazine. That is not that useful. And rejuvenated. You get increased benefit from being well fed or well hydrated. Uh, not exactly great really, is it? Uh, demolition expert. Getting gunsmith up is tempting. And in all fairness, explosives have been very useful. Getting explosives up is tempting as well. I could just get my pistols more and more powerful, but it's only 5%. It's only be 5% more power. We've got... Is someone about to start murdering me? Possibly, yes. And Stimpaks may generate edible meat tissue. Ooh! What? Out of myself? Okay. That's of interest. Yeah, screw it. I think I should probably do this. I should go for just a bit more intelligence and uh, get myself Demo Expert in. A light Demo Expert. And doubling the power of those explosives would be crazy good. So, let's get that in play. Marvellous. So, here we are. A straight run east with not much between me and there by the looks of it. Though, actually, could do with a quick snack. In fact, there might be some reasons why there was not much between me and there. It would be probably because there's a giant mountain there. Yes, okay. Of interest. Now, I kind of feel like I probably ought to divert to that thing because that's a tower. And that's probably one of those big ranger towers. And those big ranger towers would let me have all the locations nearby. Which is quite useful, yes. So, go on them. And I'm technically in the Savage Divide. Marvellous. Oh, but what the heck is... Oh! There's a Scorch Beast on the ground. And, um... Is it attacking the messenger right now? I suspect it might be. Right, this is the first time I've ever seen a Scorch Beast that's actually bothered to land. So, I'm going to go have a bit of a closer look. And I think it knows I'm there. I think it knows... Oh, it definitely knows I'm, it definitely knows I'm here. It definitely knows I'm here. Oh, it's got Scorched Friends. That's who... Oh, bloody hell. Right, no. No, I'm not ready for our doing. I'm not cocking ready. Back away. Back away from everything. Go over to the shotgun. Go over to the shotgun. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm just gonna... Wait, why is that purple? Why is... Why are all of these guys purple all of a sudden? Right, yes, it's, it's time to go. I'm not ready. I'm not actually the dragonborn. I don't have the voice of Set yet. I think the dragon is following me at this point. And I think he's got his underlings tailing me too. I'm the only player in this part of the world. But on the plus side, I've found this tower. So if I die... Then I can just fast travel back here for a price. Now the Scorched Art most definitely still after me. Yep, Scorched Art, Scorched Art still there. Hello, you're... I'm just going to hide behind this tree. That didn't, that didn't work that... Darn it. Right. So, don't attack the Scorch Beast. Oh, thankfully I just made it to the White Spring Lookout officially. So I can respawn right next to myself. In fact, yeah, literally I am just down the slope from where I just was. So that's very lucky. So I don't think I've actually got much in the... What's in the paper bag? What's in the bag? What's in... There it is. It's barely anything. But I will obviously, you know, take all of it. I would like to have all of that junk. Junk is precious. And having officially managed to make it to here, 
Let's head up top and wait. Explosives box. Yep, yeah, I can crack that open. And I like the fact it's locked because the game actually rewards you if it's locked. Yeah, unlike in Fallout 3 or 4 where you could open a safe and it would be no better than a random container that wasn't locked next to it. There's... What? Oh, right. Some form of... Oh, Feral Ghoul Reaver. Hello. Right, no, no, no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. There you go. Right. Now you're bleeding and now you're dead. Okay, so these guys do big rad damage. Right, that's your deal. Reavers, not as bad as they used to be. Okay, now it's time to do a bit of surveying. And there it is. Green Bryce, or rather White Spring. So, White Spring Golf Club, Fisher Site, White Spring Resort, Uncanny Caverns, Miner's Monument. And I'm guessing, yeah, the Great Fisher, that is where Scorch Beasts seem to come from. Right, so they come from underground? Maybe? And here we go. I can actually avoid the main White Springs Resort and keep myself a bit off the beaten track. And yeah, there it is. The bunker. The actual real location of the real presidential bunker, at least up to the 90s. So we can pass by the golf club on my way to my destination. If I recall correctly, and I'm approaching from the angle I think I am. Yeah, I have literally walked the other way. This is where I actually was. In, uh, yeah, in the actual day I was there. This is like one of the last locations I visited before they fired the nuke that marked the end of the session. And what's a mole miner rock breaker? Right. On the plus side, this place is friendly. It is a friendly, happy place. Because it's got loads of robots. Which, yeah, does kind of support my working theory that what's going on here is... Inside the Greenbriars bunker, it's going to be the Enclave. Or rather, the US government and like the plot twist at the end of this game is going to be, you founded the Enclave. And it genuinely looks just like that. Like those windows and that design. I walked up there after we had a little dinner outside on a golf course. That's so cool. What else do we have in this part of the world? And also, hang on, why have I suddenly got 10 million quest markers? Oh, acquire a historic sword... Collect and hold White Springs holotapes. Okay. I guess we can do that. We can go to the golf club and see what's going on with the holotapes here. Because that will tell me what's going on. And also, kill unruly golfer feral ghouls at White Springs. For no well explained reason aside from I feel like it. Gotcha. So we've got the White Springs golf club. Are these officially unruly golfers? If they're inside the golf club. Well, that's just a level 9 Roma. Hello. Hi. Are you unruly? Because if you are, that is... Unruly? Unruly enough? No. Naught out of 10. Not unruly enough. At this point, I'm starting to feel sorry for the bastards. Oh, you're a Reaver. Oh, no. I'm a bit more... I don't want to be cornered by a Reaver, actually. Okay, take out the other ones first. And now... Wait. Where's your arm? Where's your, where's your arm gone? Am I cut it off? Oh no, it just was glitching inside you. That's fine, don't worry, no problem. Ah, wait, I think you might have been, yes, you're an unruly golfer because you're dressed like a golfer. Fine, it's how they're dressed that I need to keep an eye on. Gotcha. And in fact, if I want to, I can actually have myself a golf skirt. That is absolutely dreadful and I never want to see it again. Right, upstairs to grab the first of these here holler tapes, wherever that is precisely. Hello, who's going to be in here? As it turns out, very few people, for whatever reason. Hi there, you're just a level 9, I'm going to chop your face off now. Okay, everybody, one at a time, one at a time, through the nice choke point, please. This actually works very well for me, very well indeed. So everyone, just wait your turn, wait, wait your turn, please. I said wait your turn. Okay, I'm getting a little bit swarmed at the minute. Luckily, they're all flipping level 9, so this is not a big deal. Just keep knackering them. Do maybe one to... Oh, I'm down to nine. I had like 20 not long ago. It was that bloody super mutant town. That's, uh, that's what screwed me over. Right, well, we'll finish you bastards off. Anyway, while we're finishing, they're coming. Why do you keep coming? They just keep coming. Rob. Rob saw them first. Just three, out on the seventh. Easy shots from up here. At first, we thought it was fun. Tried to see who could, who could pick them off. 
extra points for the head. Then, then Rob went missing. Went down to the range. It wasn't far, it wasn't, it wasn't back by dark. Ted, Zach, Zach, Phil, Mark, God, Mark. They dragged him. I can still hear him screaming. Now, we're three. Just three. Can't run. Can't hold. Can't. They're coming. They're coming! Right, so this place was totally swarmed by a huge number of... Hello, combat shotgun. Oh, I'm glad I came here already. This place was swarmed by a huge number of... Ghouls. But why? Why this place in particular and that many ghouls? I mean, sure, there's ghouls dotted around, but not often like, you know, the sort of numbers we're talking about here. By the way, just quickly turn that off. It's oh! That doesn't disarm it, John. It just makes it trigger. Gotcha. If I can find myself just two more golf ghouls, that'll... Oh! Hello! I see golf ghouls, I see golf ghouls, I see golf ghouls. Right, okay. No, 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 I wanna help, I wanna help, I wanna help, I wanna help. Let me help, let me help, let me help. Let me help out with this. Let me help out with this, please. I need to kill the ones that are... Please don't accidentally hit the robots, otherwise this is going to be very bad. Yep, we're up to 9 out of 10. Just one more to go, and... You appear to be a ghoul standing in the middle of... Ooh. Hello. Well, this is interesting. Uh, right. Oh, hang on. There's also a ghoul right here. Any chance is that? Oh, you look like you're dressed like an idiot. There you go. That looks... You must be a golf ghoul. And, yep, yeah, there we go. 10 out of 10. 200 XP. Bit of money as well. Spot on. And those guys go down no problem at all. Right. Sword. Stay focused on why we actually want to be here. This precedence cottage. Now, what have we got? Oh. Few of them, mind you. Few of them, mind you. Yeah. Level 9 and level 15. Two shots will do for you. Anyone coming up behind? No. Caution. And another level 9 goes down. Taking some very light taps, but nothing too bad. Close the door. In fact, close all the doors. Just in case. I only want... Yeah. Level 22. Boss Reaver. Slightly concerning. But that'll do the job. Oh, please stop it now. Stop it. I already said no more. Close the doors. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, hit him. Good. Now, presidential cottage. I didn't actually visit this while I was in Greenbrier's myself, so... I don't really know what's going on here, aside from the fact that, yes, I will gladly take myself a bunch of meds and whatnot. Okay. Purified water as well. Never hurts. And a bobblehead. Oh, it's another charisma. Right, why do I keep finding the absolutely useless ones? Of all the stats you'd want to boost in this game, I really don't see why you'd want to bother with charisma. But I'll tell you what I would like. I'd like a stealth boy. And I'd also like a presidential cottage password. Hang on, what needs to be opened here? Because I didn't see anything. I mean, I saw the case, but you don't need a password to... You need a password for this, though. Yes, fine. I see what we're doing here. Display case access. Open that. Very nice. And remote door. If that's not already open, no. Apparently multiple faults have been detected. Now, what do we have here? Grant's Sabre. Now, how good is that? And do I need to mod it so it's actually got the thing that we discussed on? That is, oh, 13 medium. That is not very good. That is not very good at all, to be honest. Now, attach the swing analyzer to the Sabre. Now, I'm assuming I need to do that at a weapons workbench. Yes? Maybe? Also, you know the thing I should do? I should level up. That would be a marvellous thing to do. Yes. Now, what is floating around here that's new? Ooh, sturdy frame. Armor weight down. Now, that's tempting. Flipping armor weight down. Yeah, okay. Armor is... You know, it's pretty heavy. It adds quite a lot to what you're doing. Magnetic personality. Gain one charisma for each teammate, excluding yourself. All right. For someone who's always going to be playing with the same group of friends, useful. Obtain more components when you scrap weapons and armor. All right, fine. Same thing that just boosting intelligence does. Marathoner. Sprinting consumes... Ooh, that's nice. More sprinting. More sprinting would be very, very nice indeed. But... 
I think what I actually want to take is Farmer Farmer. Like a 50-50 chance. I'm willing to do that. Yep. Give me that Farmer Farmer right there. Let's get that installed. Now, day has dawned. I'm going to do a stim pack here. I'm getting very low. Worryingly low. And I need myself. Yeah. I need an actual weapons workbench. Now, if I had to go inside the... Well, hang on. There's one that's over here. What's this little building over here? Probably it's just more flipping. Yeah, mostly probably it's just ghouls. Oh, look at that VATS Blitz. That VATS Blitz is lovely. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hand scanner. No. Requires a key. All right. We got ourselves some locked up buildings here. I wouldn't mind having a little look -see while I'm just passing through. Just figure out what happened here and why. Why so many ghouls? In this area that seems to have been... Well, it looks like it hasn't been hit. Not directly. There's no real evidence of a direct hit here. So in which case... Yeah. Why all the ghouls? Why all the rads? And hello. Is that some scorch going on here by any chance? Something's going on. Nothing major. Nothing major. Nothing major. Chill out. Is there a... Excuse me. I really need you to be not messing up right now, actually. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Grab the tape. Get out. And oh, you can just die. And no, go away. Luckily, I can one-shot these guys, which is very nice. And oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Grab that. Grab. Okay. Kill. And kill. And take. And close door, close... No, I just closed myself in. I just closed myself in. Which was the wrong thing to do. But close that door. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not interested in glowing wands of level whatever. Not on my own, alright? No. My attempt to run, by the way, has run into small problems. Such as, I'm just attracting a conga line of ghouls. Now, I can clear them out. That's certainly true. And I'm probably just actually slowly gaining myself a lot of XP by doing it. But still... Okay, I think I've... No! I thought I was clear there. I'm clear of the glowing one, at least. Bloody hell. Okay, you know what? Now I've got that tape, I'm going to make a run for the front of Greenbriars. Because I'm pretty sure the main building is safe and secured and held by robots. So I'm just going to make a sprint for the front door. There we go. White Spring Resort. And there we go. There we flipping go. Anyone who was following me now gets cleared out by the bots. Phew. And I think time for a level up again. Actually, lovely. Again, just go to strength until I know what else to do. Every point of strength adds plus two to damage resistance, max of 14. Okay, so yeah, the um, the cap for just boosting strength is 15, but of course then you can boost it beyond that. It's just a soft cap in terms of what you can upgrade to. You can boost with chems, bobbleheads, whatever, to more than that. So yeah, you can get your strength to 20 and have plus 40 damage resistance. That's, that's not bad. That's genuinely not, actually. That's kind of fun. Uh, exterminator. Attacks 25% of armor of insects. That's that's pretty feeble, actually. Cola nuts. New cola products are now twice as beneficial. Uh, okay. Uh, what else have we got that's new in here today? Luck of the draw. Slight chance your weapon will repair itself when you hit an enemy. That's kind of fun. Wouldn't mind more carry capacity. And wouldn't mind a bit more slugger. I'm liking this. Ah, but then... Don't take Slugger. I might be about to get a super powerful elite one-handed legendary something or another. Or other. But I will take more pack wrap. Yeah, I'm going to take more pack wrap. Beautiful. So let's just quickly, yeah, merge them to level three. And then get that installed. Job done. And that should significantly help me with the old weight situation. Still, I know what I'm after now. In here, there's got to be a workbench in here somewhere, hopefully. And here we are. Back again into this. Well, it's scaled down, obviously. The real green Bryce is a lot bigger internally because, yeah, it would just be quite boring to walk around it in full size. But let's just have a little look -see here. Bunch of tapes dotted around. Hello there. Nice to see you. Tape number whatever this is. Right. Play that. Sure. Why not? It's funny what comes to mind at a time like this. When I was little, I used to come here with my grandfather. Every morning, we'd sit right here, have donuts, 
read the paper. Just the two of us. Everything changes. They got rid of the donuts and the staff and the whole world. The spot is still here. Joyce did her best. They all did. I hope they make it out there. As for me, I'm going to stay right here. Have one last donut. Whatever happens, happens. Everything changes. But in the end, I can't imagine a place I'd rather be. I had breakfast right here. This seat. This one. That's where I was sitting, where I had breakfast. The buffet was where the piano was. There were pancakes. They were really good. And here's interesting. The back room that I assumed would be the kitchen. There's a maintenance room terminal in here. Well, okay, let's just focus on the stuff pre-war first. So, before the war... I want to take a moment to thank everyone who attended last Saturday's listening session. As most of you are aware, the White Spring has not been profitable in over a decade. The board still believes the initiative represents our best path forward and has decided to move forward with the current plan. So homesteads continue to be advertised in regional and national media. Remodelling of the Spring Hill continues under the direction of lead architect Ryan Ainsley. The course will open for an exhibition tournament this fall. Ironclad service robots. Ah. Fine. So, replacing all the staff with robots to make the business more profitable. Gotcha. Okay, fine. Now, the month of the bomb. Several updates this month. The Spring Hill Golf Tournament has been cancelled. The Nuka-Cola Corporation will sponsor our first business class promotion. To celebrate the release of Nuka-Cola Quantum, Nuka-Cola bottle caps will be accepted as legal tender throughout the hotel. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so all non-management personnel should have received their termination notices. An employee farewell dinner will be held in the Governor's Hall on the 15th of October. Okay, so that was pre-war. Gotcha. And then, of course, well, what happened next? This is an automated reminder that modern heritage renovations are scheduled to begin later. To expedite construction, all rooms, suites and cottages will be closed. Okay, fine. And what exactly was the 2018 initiative? So, luxury real estate with all the amenities of one of the world's greatest resorts. Okay, the new golf course, the new robots, elevated service for corporate clients. Okay, so just, you know, a fairly bland remodel, to be honest. Wait, hang on, was there something else there? Yes, here we go. User files. So, we've got ourselves a few logs, though there was data corruption. So, this was the 14th of October. So, the day before, the staff were all fired. At first, I was glad to be exempt from the layoffs. Ah, you're one of the ones who wasn't. So I'm just in my own private hell. I'm the one setting up the robots that are replacing all of them, so I feel responsible. Oh, oh dear. I had lunch with Joyce, the clerk down in the candy shop. She couldn't stop crying. There is a candy shop. It sold really good chocolate. Her husband was laid off from the mine last year. She's got two girls in college. I don't know what to do. I could buy her a week or two, maybe. All right, move forward to to-do list. So registered Joyce as... Ah, you did as well. You managed to get her as an acting manager, so she wouldn't be terminated. Well done. So robots were winterized, reinstate combat protocols, locate the mainframe, investigate fabrication system. Nothing too major here. Investigate. Robot controls by central mainframe. Where? Must be on premises. And terminal access limited. Can't hack out of user sandbox. Conduit's dead end, not listed in technical specs. Why so many robots? Given debt, excessive. Who paid why? Complete robot refab system. Set to automatic, instant. Crazy high-end. Repair staff will be cheaper. Grounds pristine. Mountains, prevailing winds. Robot maintenance limit radiation exposure. That all. Hand scanner with no door. Mistake. Modern heritage locked in by mainframe. Can't stop it. Robot reset eviction. Completely shut out. Interesting. And I think I know the door he's referring to as well. And disable the damn lockdown. Not that anyone even tries to come here anymore. That was in 86. Okay. And yeah, I think I know exactly which door they're referring to. Because I actually know the history of this place, having visited it. You see, if we just run along here, over to the left from the reception. Yeah, most of these require hand scanners. I need to get myself added to the security notice or something. But yeah... The door they're going to be referring to is... Oh, hang on. We can just get ourselves a tape while we're doing that. One last toast. Sure. All right. All right. Settle down. I know the last few weeks have been a shock. We all hoped we could stay here forever. 
But when you stop and think about it, we've been blessed. So many people have had it so much worse. For the past year, the White Spring has been our home. A shelter from the storm just outside the gates. It's time for us to face that storm. But we're ready. Ready like none of us was on that day. We've had time to plan, to prepare, to stock up, to find friends to share the road ahead. The White Spring bought us that time. Please, Let's make the most of it. Ladies and gentlemen, one last toast. To the White Spring. So, some people were here when the bombs fell and survived, but why would they leave? Why bother? And this is the hand scanner. And this is because this way is in fact an actual secure door to the back of the bunker, the back entrance to the actual government bunker. And that's why, because it's really a secret door. Right, so we now know about that. I need to find myself a security room so I can get myself added to the security roster or what have you. Well, I found the general manager's office. That seems like a good starting point. And White Spring staff meeting. Go on then. Tell me more. And recording. All right. What are we looking at? I've got nothing. Really, Lou? Really? You set up the damn things. Don't tell me you don't know how to hack them. Can't you just shut them off or keep them from turning on us? There has to be a way. Paula. No. Really, no. I'm sorry, Paula. We tried everything. Not just me. Every guest who can work a terminal. We've been locked out. We're getting kicked out, and there's nothing we can do. Paula, how's the training going? Friedrich's classes are a joke. But the gifts have been pitching in. The Warrens picked up a few things on Safari. Sergeant Tomlinson has been teaching marksmanship. Tomlinson? That crank thinks the communists are bugging his roof. Yeah. Best we've got. God. At least people have been stocking up. The all-you-can-carry shopping spree was a hit. No one turned that down. A anyone have anything else? Robert, how are things? <sighs> Keeping on. Good. The gala's on Sunday. So... This may be our last staff meeting. Whatever happens, we did all we could this past year. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Hello. Okay, so the robots, well, it sounds like they turned on these people at some point, but when? So, logging in as Joyce Easton in this room. So, yeah, the woman in the shop who got promoted, thanks to the kindness of the guy who worked on the robot. She was effectively a manager, so she wasn't fired. Her first log comes the day after the bombs fell. So Lou reprogrammed the robots to recognize me as acting assistant manager, said it wasn't hard and the most senior employee left on the payroll. That makes it official or as official as it's going to get. I've asked Robert to seal the hotel, make sure no one else gets in or out until the radiation settles. Paul is taking inventory, Lou's gonna retool the robots, make sure they're prepped for a fight. I've moved up to the front office. It still feels strange being in here, but the guests need to see that someone's in charge. I'll do my best. This is the White Spring. We have standards to maintain. Okay. Bombs fell. They sealed the place. All makes sense. I spoke to the guests at dinner last night and it's gone surprisingly well. Those who wanted to get out got out as soon as the news came. Most everyone else is just glad to be safe. There are worse places to be trapped than the world's best resort. But Mr. Tomlinson in his room started waving his gun around yelling about communists. Okay, I think some of the execs from the conference group were planning something until they saw the robots took my orders. Since then, they've been quite the gentlemen. Skip forward a few months. When the world goes to hell, you don't expect much good news. Well, today we got some. Paula's inventory was set. With so few people left on the property, we've got enough food to last years, maybe a decade. Other supplies too. Clothes, meds, spare parts, generators. Okay, probably better off than those vaults. Can't be too careful though, that nuclear promotion is still going on, so I've arranged for the robots to bring me the caps they collect, and I'll dole them out to the guests so they can buy what they need. Makes for a nice little rationing system. Okay, so everything was going fine. Where did it go horribly wrong? Move on to December. We've got the announcement this morning. Modern Heritage, that damn remodel is still on. Lou jumped on it right away, caught in everybody who knew about programming or robotics. They're still looking 
Oh, the rules for modern heritage were everyone needs to be kicked out. We need to evict everyone to do the work and they couldn't shut it down. Right, so everyone got kicked out of their rooms and whatever. I see, that's why that mattered. So come January 1st, the hotel shuts down for the remodel. We all get locked out of the rooms, the robots get a system update, see how long we've overstayed our reservations and kick us vagrants out permanently. Then they remodel the rooms and wait for the state building inspector. He's gonna be a while. We should all stick together. We've been arguing for weeks. No one can agree on where to go or what to do. Lou and some of the guys are going to try and take out the robots at the golf club. See if they can hole up, hole up there. It's a golf club. I don't know if that's an intentional pun. Probably not. Most of us aren't up for the fight. Another group wants to head up to Pleasant Valley or onto Sunny Top. See if the other resorts will take them in. Paula and I are leading a caravan to Charleston. Robert won't leave his post no matter what. We've done everything we can to get ready. Artisan's Corner is running wilderness survival experience classes. The sportsmen have been teaching shooting out on the putting green. And I've made sure they'll have all the food and supplies they can carry. No sense rationing now. The New Year's Gala is tonight. One last night. One last night before we join the world in this madness. And that's what the last toast was. They had to leave because, well, they were locked out of the rooms and the robots would have kicked them out and got nasty. But why are the robots cool with me? Oh, wait, we do know that. The guy's terminal said he was able to get around the lockdown eventually, but it was years later. It was too late. Everyone else had already gone. And the general manager, James Wilcox, no record of him whatsoever. Ah, aside from a couple of emails. Nothing much there, though. All of that was pre-war. And after that, nothing from him. So possibly he left immediately or died or something, because no record of him whatsoever. Now, if it's like the real Green Bryce, yes, this is where the shops are. Now, 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 now. Would you object if I, oh, oh dear, everything's locked away. Boo, boo, I say, but I can do a search and get myself a free extra stim pack there. That's what I want, and my first super stim pack too. Now I have found in one of the clothing shops, a chef hat, which I feel like I need to own one of. Yes, I think that's kind of important. And the hunting shop, meanwhile, is actually selling, yeah, combat armor. I can't use it yet because it's locked to level 20, but it's actually not that expensive. Remember that's there. Might be useful to come back for this business. Okay, I'm immediately bored of the chef's hat because there is a sea captain's hat right here, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. And some fashionable glasses. Shame there's no top hats. That must be said. Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's much better. Oh, and the shop is selling all the recipes in the world. Well, that is of interest. I mean, rather than actually just creating mutt chops, being able to actually have proper dog meat steak. You know what? I do kill a lot of dogs. Yeah, I'll have that one. Well, while I'm passing by, may as well just finish off the recordings. Turn in. Another scotch. Ma'am, what about you, Liz? Have you made up your mind yet? Oh, Bill's keen on Charleston. We were social with the governor. I'm sure he'd make arrangements for us. Evans? That snake? He was always for sale. Not a terrible thing if you're the buyer. Can you imagine parading into town like a troop of beggars? And Charleston, no less. It always was a slum. Now, with refugees swarming like flies. Ugh. No. The resorts are the better option. If the White Spring won't have us, we should try Pleasant Valley. Even Sunny Top. Sunny Top? Really? I'm not there for the skiing. Or the clientele. But I'd rather stay at a shoddy lodge than take my chances with whatever may be going on down in the valley. Ma'am. Just set it down, set it down. Now, let's finish this rubber. Dollar a point. Alright, so they're just discussing where they wanted to go next. And this one has brought me to the candy shop, which is where... The assistant manager used to be. There we go. Joyce Easton. So what do we know about you? Ah, so this is all what happened. Wait, hang on. Haven't we seen all this before? 
There we go. Ah, this is where she wrote her private notes. Got it. So, we all knew that's what's hard. We all knew what ironclad service was. They're going to replace us, just like the other big corpse. Fine. So, that was in, yeah, that was pre-war. Then we had the 14th, so coming up to it. Three months, not one interview. I knew things were bad, but damn. And we had an uncle up in Monaga. Got her a job in the plant. Okay, so we know what happened to her. She managed to get herself secured a job. Now, God, what do we do? I was working the counter when the news came in. We all crowded around the radio in the salon. War, nukes, New York, Boston, then static. Lots of people just ran. If Dave were here, I'd be trying to get home too, but he's visiting the girls. It was homecoming weekend, at least they're together. I might never see them again. Right now I have to tend to the guests. I can't find Wilcox. Ah! So, mystery door, vault somewhere, Wilcox unaccounted for, and... Whatever's running the robots, we don't know where that is either, because that's what the terminal around the back of the restaurant said. Intriguing. Same day. It's just Robert, Lou, Paula and me. Four staff, 92 guests, 500 robots. No one from management has left. The robots were never meant to handle this. Someone has to step up and take charge, and they picked me. I don't know anything about leading people. I've never managed anything more than a candy counter. Then I moved up to the main office, and obviously we saw all her notes there. I still slip back here now and then. I need a little space to myself. It's Christmas. I wonder how Davey's doing, if he and the girls are alright. When a day goes by that I don't think of them, I hope they're somewhere safe. For now, I have to focus on the people I can help. The White Springs my home, my family, more than ever before. I'm going to do right by them. And presumably, Joyce, this is going to be a note from you. The final message, in fact. So, play that, sure. Dave. Dave, honey, it's Joyce. I don't know if you'll ever get this, but I wanted to make sure there was something here if you came looking. If you made it. God, where to start? It's, uh, it's about 2.30 in the morning, New Year's. 2079. I've been here for the past year since the war. Me, a couple of the staff, about 100 guests. And the robots. <laughs> Never thought I'd be grateful for the robots. We made out all right. Even made me manager. Can you believe it? But we have to go. Paula and I. We're leaving for Charleston in the morning. I've missed you and the girls. I missed you so much. Take care of them for me, all right? Oh, my love. Always. That's a sad one, given we know that message never actually made it to where it was supposed to go. Right. May as well check the upper floor, so they might be swarming with zombies. So, first and second we've already seen. Third. That might be. Okay, and fourth. No. No joy. So, I think what we've seen is all we've got. Fine. So, I need to attach the swing analyzer to Grant Sabre. Now, are you saying that has to be done actually... At the house. Ah, I think that might need to be done at the house. Gotcha. So here we go. Grant Saber. Swing Analyzer. Which makes no difference to anything. It just gathers information. Fine. So now I need to kill six different types of creatures with this thing. Despite the fact that it's terrible. Well, I know what creature number one can be. There is just outside a couple of mole rats. So that can be number one right there. Yes, here you go, you bastards. You'll do. Lovely. So that's creature number one taken care of. And you can all die as well, actually. When we say killed a creature, define a creature. Like, for example, is a scorched allowed to count? Let's find out, shall we? I'm going to kill a scorched right now. So hello, you are a nice scorched right there. And just come over here, level one scorch. Yeah, you can... Excuse me, don't you flip in hit me. I'm hitting you right now, all right? I don't think you understand how this works. Yeah, that did indeed count. So it's not just strictly animals. It just means uh, any type of enemy. Now, that's good. Because I'm pretty confident that I have seen some lovely... Yeah, some actual ghouls down in this part of the world previously. Though I also think I just saw over here... Hello, did I just see a firefly? No, that's my own camp. But I'm pretty sure I have seen a firefly floating around over here. 
Hello there, little firefly. No, 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 no. Come back. Come I can't even kill this with one swing. That's just embarrassing. Right, that's going to be number three. You know what? I should probably just go somewhere else for this business where I know there's a couple of different types of creature. Like, ooh, I know where there's a good bit of variety. And it's quite close by as well. That resort up by the bridge, that's got flipping bloat flies. I think it had myalurks going on as well. Yep, there is my bloat fly friend. Hello. I would like to be friends with you. By which I mean, I'd like to hit you with this sword right, please. Right, now if you'd be so kind. Right, that is number four. Yep, yeah, level five soft shell Myalurk. That'll do the job right there. Are you a soft shell as well? Yes, you're a soft shell. Right. Hello. Yes, that's right. And... Okay, are you not interested in coming for me? Apparently not. Oh. Unfortunately, you're a little bit tough for this thing. Right, uh, critical. Get in there. And now get in and... Oh, bloody hell. Right, sword. Not well set up for dealing with... My alerts. Can you just all just chill out? Okay, stop hiding behind your shell. I know it's kind of your job being a soft shell my alert, but seriously, stop it. Right, that's up to number five. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. And okay, this sword is terrible. This better be like massively improved once we actually decide to, you know, turn it into the blade of Bastet or whatever. You know, it will be downright embarrassing if after all of this, the weapon I create is significantly flipping worse than just the slightly sharpened pickaxe I already had. But here we go. Blade of Bastet. Beautiful. Fabrication complete. Crafting item unlocked, so possibly I can make another one, but I think I get given the first one regardless. And there we go. Okay, I'm prepared to be unimpressed here. And... Ooh. Okay, 55 medium, but only available at level 25, so, okay, basically, when I get to level 25, then I can be Batman. Batman is not allowed to be under level 25, that would just be unacceptable. And now I'm just straight up curious, what is the voice of Set? Because, okay, the other one's totally a stealth boy, no problem there whatsoever. Right, pop it in, let's see what we got. The Mistress of Mystery is not a sniper. She is not the Silver Shroud leaping into the fray with his silver submachine gun blazing. But she does carry a pistol. It is a tool, like any other, to be used when the situation requires it. The mistress's iconic revolver was the voice of Set. It had a variety of powers. To be frank, it did whatever the writers needed it to do. I received more than a few letters about that. But for us, that variety is essential. We need tools capable of meeting any challenge. Your mission is to help expand our options. Kryptos has leads on a number of prototype weapons that were in development before the war. You will be assigned to retrieve one of them. Bring the plans to Frederick and see what he can make of it. He never fails to amaze me. All right. Now, a really powerful revolver, that's nice, but I strongly suspect it might be tied to level 25, just like the pistol, because I think they've both been like 20 or 25 right now. So, let's have a little look, see what we got here. Mission board, and no, not the phantom device, I need to actually query some, yeah, weapons research. Sugar Grove. Ooh, locate an EMP research program. That sounds cool. Okay, wow. I feel like I have most definitely stumbled across something, yeah, meant for higher level individuals right now. Locate the EMP research program. It is uh, not just in the Savage Divide, it's basically beyond it. Sugar Grove is, yes, not where I was thinking it was. That is, that's in the flipping mire. That is a very, very long way away. You know what? I think we're not going to do that, not just now. Instead, I'd like to finish my little perambulation of the lake, just to see if I can find any evidence whatsoever of this flipping Flatwoods monster mine. So around the edge of the lake here, nothing major so far. Right, just a bus, and beyond that, another big old house. No, I'm not doing the messenger. It's fine, can't be bothered with that business, bye. In fact, it feels like this is a little bit more of a, yeah, a tiny settlement, and oh... So how about we just get ourselves a nice 
Yeah, a nice tactical armor piercing something, something, something up. That'll do the job, actually. And how about you die to something very comparable? So we'll just get you set up over there, please. If you just want to hold still for a headshot, that'd be... Just hold still. Hold still, please. There you go. Very nice. Right. We're in super mutant territory right now. And I've got almost no shotgun ammo left. So, find jukeboxes to bring music back to Somersville. You know what? I feel like that is not a high priority right. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, chill out, physics. Well, same problem as we had before. A few super mutants cleared out here. But yeah, stim packs are once again looking dangerous. This is why, yeah, it's very difficult to go into high level areas more than you should do. Like, okay, fine. It's not too difficult to just kind of stim pack your way through it just once or twice. But pretty soon, you start running out of stim packs. So... Not necessarily a good idea. Well, while there's technically no reason to turn on the jukeboxes, while I'm literally passing by, and as I've already done two of them, as I was just kind of, you know, scrounging for goodies and office fans, uh, I guess I may as well turn on the last one, because I'm assuming that's going to get me. Yeah, you know what? 200 XP just for turning on three jukeboxes? I'll gladly do that, and that was actually a decent amount of flipping caps as well. And I think rather tragically, I've actually just about completed... My periambulation. That's most definitely back into river territory, not a lake. So, the Flatwoods monster has indeed managed to elude me. But, I would say, you know what, screw you, rabbit. I actually need some meat, by the way. Could I have... Yes, I'd like a rabbit leg, please. I actually really desperately need a bit of food right now. Ooh. Had some super mutants over there. I'll tell you what, I'll give them a bit of a wide berth. No need to cause any trouble with them. I would, at the bare minimum, like to know what's going on in that weird little town that's been built in the base of the lake bed after the raiders blew the whole thing up. Hello there, little town. What exactly is the deal with you? And it's scorched. Fine. Not too surprising, really. Go over to my hunting rifle. I've got 10 million shots for this thing. So, we may as well just start... Taking out a few of these guys. Just, you know, clearing them out first. Scorch generally aren't too bad in terms of ridiculous numbers. There we go. Nailed the flipping king. That's the scorched over there. And there's a few more over here as well, including... Ooh. That's surprising. Super mutant. Got the sneak attack on you. Why aren't you guys hostile to each other? More importantly... What does my dog steak look like? How do I make that their dog steak? What do I need? I need, ooh, boiled water, the meat, salt, wood, and double mute fruit. Okay, well, I've got some rad stag right here. You know what? I'll just take mutt chops for the time being. And I've discovered the territory of New Gad. All right. New Gad, down in the bottom of a, yeah, down in the bottom of a lake bed. Maybe this was a raider town before it was swarmed by other stuff and more flipping bosses. I swear I already hit the boss. Maybe I hit one of the others that wasn't the boss. There we go. Nail a couple of them. No problem at all. Still in danger. Oh, I see you over there. And got myself level 15. And that is a perk card pack. It's every five levels for a perk card pack after the first 10. So, my first perk card pack in quite a while. I will say, I wish they came a little bit more frequently. Like, maybe every four levels rather than five. I just want, you know, a bit more in the old perk cards. It would be nice to have... Oh, hang on. Why exactly were you just marked as important? I'm not quite sure, but you were. Not raiders, in fact. We got ourselves... Yeah, one settler here. Not flagged as a raider at all. So, at one point... This place was, yeah, set up to be peaceful. Water purification system, all the rest of it. And speaking of which, tear it all down the note. Chuck got tired of trying to hide stuff from the others. Bunch of damn thieves. Uh, that old safe we dredged up. Put it on the boat, locked up nice and tight. Key is in the RV by Lens Chem Bench. He's too torched to notice. RV by a chem bench. Ah, here we go. Key. New guard. Safe key. 
Very, very nice indeed. And more importantly, a workbench. So I can start scrapping the 10 million things I've got with me. Now, I think the note also said that it was going to be, yeah, a safe on the boat. This here is a boat. And there we are. Safe on a boat. Nougat safe key gets me basically nothing of note. Spot on. Well, best as I can tell, nothing much going on here. Not much in the way of loot or law or anything. Just a little settlement out in the middle of nowhere. One thing of note, mind. This is not the first time I have seen this weird bit of equipment. I saw one of them in the ash heap too. What's it for? Random unnamed corpse. No idea what it does. One frag grenade, no notes, no explanation. Ooh, hello! I just came back over to the dam here, and we got something very interesting. Which is, it looks like we got ourselves a legendary. A legendary that I should actually be able to handle pretty handily. So, how about we just go and find that little legendary? Hello. No, no, you can just die, by the way. Get out of my way. I'm legendary hunting. This is the first legendary I've found that I think I can actually kill. Where did he just go? What? Where did he just... Where has he just gone? Where is that legendary just flipping gone? I literally just saw him. That's not fair. I didn't kill him. He ran in this direction. Where the heck did he go? There's one right here. No, that's just a normal Scorch. He wasn't legendary. No! I feel... Oh! Hiding inside a wall, were you? Oh my goodness. Is that by any chance Chameleon Raider? Oh, I hate Chameleon Raider. Chameleon's kind of terrible because it messes with the pit boy. Right, well, let's see if it still does that then. Because that'd just be, you know, kind of badass to have regardless. And... Uh, I can hardly say no to the first bit of legendary gear that I... Yeah, it's still flipping messes up the pit boy then, does it? Actually, not as bad as it used to. It's still pretty hard to read, but... Okay, that might be fun under the right circumstances, yes. Especially as, yeah, there is now the actual new... Yeah, actually, I can just go into this mode, but I don't like that mode as much. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll keep that for showing off in the middle of town or something. My first bit of legendary gear required. Only one more thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. Level up. And perk card pack. Come on, give me anything for endurance. Like, I know it's terrible, but I would like at least one thing. And... Oh my goodness, I got one. <laughs> okay, drinks quench an extra 25% first. How completely useless. Roses are red, violets are blue. I didn't water them, they died. Again... Not really a joke. Right, what have we got at level 15? Because there's got to be some good stuff at level 15. That feels like a good important level. So, basic combat training means automatic rifles do plus 10% damage. Also, that, that doesn't look like an automatic rifle to me, but okay, fine, whatever. I don't really know, I'm just sort of estimating. Anything new around here? That we've all seen before. Field surgeon Stimpaks and Radaway now work much more quickly. Not bad, but honestly, the problem is not enough of them. And ooh, armorer. Okay. Apparently, that has moved out of strength over to intelligence. Okay, so intelligence is, yeah, really the crafty one right now. You needed to craft explosives. You needed to craft armor. You needed to craft guns. And I'm guessing science will show up there sooner or later as well. Oh, but ninja just showed up too. Oh, that's of interest. That's very much of interest. How good does that get over time? Actually, only up to three times. So, they've toned that down a bit. Though I could certainly see the advantage of, yeah, taking a rank of armourer. Or maybe, you know what, no. Take the intelligence and take a second rank of gunsmith. Beautiful. And yes, absolutely, upgrade that. And in it goes. Spot on. So that blade of Bastet is certainly not so bad at all. But, store it away for now. Remember it's there at level 25. And the same, of course, with the Garb of Mistress. Until level 25, can't do a thing with that. Now, I feel a little bit underwhelmed I had to wait this long for this. But yeah, my 10mm, currently at 17 damage. Having got myself up to Gunsmith 2, I can boost that to 18 damage. And yeah, like 20% more fire rate. I am underwhelmed, to be honest. No way to boost the damage of the Tactical Calibrated Pipe Revolver either. I guess I could just actually put the... Yeah, fire rate wouldn't be so bad. To be honest, it is a bit on the slow side. Yeah, 
Screw it. Hair trigger receiver. Let's just get the DPS up a little bit there. Oh, but this is fun. I can put a suppressor on the end of it. Silenced weaponry. Nice. But yes, indeed, I think we'll probably put Batman on hold for the time being, because it feels like everything I'm going to pick up, I can't actually use until level 25 anyway. Ooh, I built my house inside power lines. Oh, I'm very sorry, that was very inconsiderate of me. I think we'll actually just go and pick up, well, not necessarily the main plot, but the direction of the main plot. You see, I know from checking out Charleston on the Xbox beta, some bad stuff went down in Morgantown in the period immediately after the war. So, I'd like to head over to Morgantown, have a bit of a dig through the ruins. Not just rush straight to the airport, see what else is going on. So, I visited the university, and I visited the actual airport, but I didn't really bother visiting the rest of it. So, join me next time, ladies and gentlemen, as we have a dig through the ruins of Morgantown, see what we can find. And, uh, if I recall correctly, the university did also have a lead on a cryptid. We will recommence the cryptid hunt and also dig through for some more probably very, very dark stories indeed next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 76. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! Die! Go! Go away! Go away, nobody likes you! That was a good idea till it wasn't.